Ladies and gentlemen, the pleb is back. In this video, we're going to talk about more Justin Trudeau corruption. The corruption never ends with this guy. Unless you've been living under a rock, you know. There is a giant Chinese interference scandal going on right now in Canada. The Chinese have been interfering with our elections. They've interfered in the last two elections, helping the Liberals win and keeping the Conservatives out. Now, we finally got to see who Justin Trudeau appointed to this position. Is this person neutral? Is this person going to have integrity? Is this a, a person going to save Justin Trudeau's behind? We'll find out in the video, because as usual, the pleb has you covered. But first, before we start this video, eat your bugs. Eat your bugs. We need to hit our sustainable development goals on this channel. So eat your crickets for Ukraine and climate change and pronouns and all that good stuff. And before we start this video, ladies and gentlemen, make sure to subscribe to the pleb because this channel right here, this is Justin Trudeau's worst nightmare because I am focusing on exposing the Trudeau and liberal and NDP corruption going on in Canada. So subscribe to my channel. You found a new home. Let's get on with the video. All right. It's good to be back, ladies and gentlemen. Justin Trudeau went and released, well, as you guys know, there's been a giant election interference scandal going on in Canada. The last couple of elections, well, the Liberal Party were assisted by Beijing, the Chinese Communist Party, Z. They wanted the Liberals, you know, to win seats because the Liberals are soft on China. They're friends of China. You know, China loves the Libs. Justin Trudeau, either way, the public is demanding an inquiry and they're demanding a public inquiry, but no, it's going to be a closed inquiry and Justin Trudeau gets to choose who will be heading this inquiry. And well, if you look at Twitter here, there's a, the choices come. Justin Trudeau has chosen his rapporteur to help combat foreign interference and strengthen confidence in our democratic institutions. We intend to appoint Canada's former Governor General David Johnston as the independent special rapporteur. More on his experience and this role. Well, Justin Trudeau being the most corrupt human being on the planet, we're going to have to go and look into David Johnston and try to figure out why he was selected. Why was David Johnston selected as the special rapporteur? Why did Justin Trudeau choose him? Why? Well, you came to the right channel to find out why. We'll go look at his Wikipedia here. David Lloyd Johnston, born 1941, da 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 Academic author statement who served from 2010 to 2017 as the Governor General of Canada, the 28th since the Canadian Confederation. All right, so he chose the ex-Governor General who, you know, many in the media have been saying, well, it was Stephen Harper who appointed this guy. Well, you know what? It goes to show what a good leader Stephen Harper was compared to Trudeau. Stephen Harper was able to go and appoint a liberal as the governor general. You'll never see that from Justin Trudeau in the in the era of hyper partisan politics. You'll never see Trudeau appoint a conservative to anything important because you know how these liberals are. You know, if you're not in the cult, you can't play with the liberals. So I put out a tweet here, David Johnstone. Here's the man who Justin Trudeau appointed to investigate the Liberal Party for their massive Chinese election interference scandal. He is a member of the Trudeau Foundation. Are you surprised? So the man that Justin Trudeau appointed to investigate Justin Trudeau is a member of the Trudeau Foundation. Oh, what a shocker. Are you surprised? Are you surprised that Trudeau would go and um, appoint, <laughs> appoint someone from the Trudeau Foundation? I mean, we live in a banana republic, the most corrupt country in the world. So should come as no surprise. We got more dug up here from Wikipedia. Read this. 
A few days before Johnstone, Johnston completed his service, Prime Minister Justin Descru Trudeau described him as a family friend. Oh, okay, so he's on the Trudeau Foundation and he's a family friend. But if you don't believe me that, that Johnston is a family friend, well, how about you hear it from Justin Trudeau himself? Let's listen to Justin, with Justin Trudeau's own words, okay? I've known the Governor General since I was a kid, from visiting him and his daughters when he was principal of McGill, to spending time on the ice or the slopes at their uh, family home in the Laurentians. And I've always known him to be a man of... Wait, so he used to go and visit him when Justin Trudeau went to McGill. David Johnstone was running McGill. So they have a connection for McGill, but did you guys hear that? <laughs> Let me replay that from when... Listen to this. And I've always known him to be a man of... Listen to this. ...at their uh, family home in the Laurentians. He used to hang out at the, at the family home in the Laurentians. David Johnston and Justin Trudeau were neighbors. They, they had cottages beside each other. And I've always known him to be a man of strength, intelligence, and compassion. But getting to know someone as a family friend or a friend of your father's is very different from having the honor of working. Family friend, friend of his father's. This is who's going to investigate Chinese election interference in Canada. Appointed by Trudeau, a family friend. Working alongside them. So it has been a true honor since the beginning of my mandate to come to know the Governor General not only as a friendly neighbor, quite literally. Friendly neighbor? Quite literally, Justin Trudeau made a joke right there. It's Justin Trudeau's neighbor! That's who's investigating this. Justin Trudeau's neighbor. What a, that Canada's a joke. But as a man of integrity <laughs> who embodies the principles for which our country stands. Man, Justin Trudeau is literally destroying our country. He's destroying the integrity of our country. Man, man, we've become such a joke under this guy. It's truly unbelievable. He's laughing in our face, appointing his cottage Laurentian elite friends to investigate him. It sucks, man. It really sucks. It's like, how much more can we take? It's truly unbelievable. There was a poll put out asking support for independent inquiry into the foreign election interference allegations. 72% of Canadians support. Okay, 72% of Canadians support an independent inquiry. So what does this tell us? The majority of Canadians, this is a nonpartisan issue, want an independent public inquiry, but we're not going to get it. Of course, we're not going to get it, but I had to know. I know it's kind of down, but I had to go and make a meme, try to make you guys laugh. I know this is just more Justin Trudeau corruption, but I made a meme for you guys to put it out on Twitter here. Canadians, can you please appoint a neutral rapporteur? Trudeau, best I can do is my close family friend and neighbor, you know, and member of the Trudeau Foundation and friend of my father. That's the best he can do. Truly sickening. <laughs> truly, truly sickening. I got some comments here from people on Twitter that I went and found just discussing what they thought about, you know, David Johnston being appointed as a special rapporteur. We got a comment here from Bratney, friend of the pleb. Another Laurentian elite. Correct. It is another Laurentian elite. You know, it's just one big club and you're not in it. We're not in it. You know, small group of people control all of us. And Johnston and Trudeau, they're all in that circle. Man, we got more comments here. Got a comment here from Klaus Schwab. Klaus Schwab, I am happy to see the cooperation with our independent rapporteur. That is David Johnston with Z. Very familiar with China. Is that not crazy? Is that not crazy? The man that's going to investigate the Chinese election interference. You know, well, he's close to China. He's close to Justin Trudeau. We live in a banana republic, man. We truly live in a banana republic. We have another tweet here from Jeremy Crawford here replying to me. Inside job, another cover-up. It's sad. It's unfortunate. 
this is what Canada has come into come to. We are a joke. Um, it's unfortunate. It's sad. It's you feel defeated that you know corruption after corruption after corruption. Trudeau just keeps getting away with it. The funny thing is, is that if it was Pierre Polyev, the second, if he becomes prime minister, the first, the first scandal Polyev, you know, happens to get himself into, he's going to lose his job. Okay. Because conservatives play by a different set of rules than the liberals. If you're a liberal and you have the media backing you, you can literally get away with everything, especially if it's Justin Trudeau and you're good looking and you keep winning elections. It's sick. It's sick. I'm happy to see some of the mainstream media. I'm going to give a shout out to people like Andrew Coyne, who I am not the biggest fan of, but who's been really hard on Trudeau on this and this whole scandal. Shout out to you. Shout out to Sam Cooper and the other media who are sticking it to Trudeau and raking his feet over the coals. Man, let me know in the comments what you guys think. What do you guys think? <laughs> do you think David Johnstone, uh, Johnston, I keep calling him Johnstone. Do you think David Johnstone is a going to be a neutral uh, rapporteur in this inquiry? He was the governor general of Canada. Many people have said he was a very honorable man. Let me know in the comments. Do you think he's going to be fair regarding this election interference? Let me know in the comments, guys. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to the pleb. And I'll see you guys at the next video. F. Trudeau.